Howdy and welcome to Get to Know Your District right here on Channel 16. It is a pleasure today to be visiting with the trainers, the head trainers at Rudder and Bryan High School, respectively. That's Jamie and Josh Woodall, and they have been both around for a, a long time, and obviously they are married to each other, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit, too. But, uh, Jamie, first off, let's talk about uh, the profession that you and Josh uh, have chosen and actually got you all together, which we'll talk about later. But um, talk a little bit about uh, training and how it has changed, especially how technology has changed your business as it's changed everybody's business. Absolutely. Technology has been uh, a, a blessing in our field. We have uh, a lot more efficient work mm -hmm. with the iPads that we use, especially in our concussion protocols. We also have electronic medical records that we use and uh, also use software to communicate with coaches when we have athletes who have any limitations or restrictions. Josh, I know that uh, one thing that both you and Jamie are very proud of, and anybody really in this business, is the uh, being able to develop young men and women who really want to get into this field. Or maybe they're just in the field uh, for something to do during high school, but a lot of them go on and do training in college and even make it their profession. Yes, yes. We, uh, we've actually had quite a few students that have uh, gone on to do this, uh, either uh, in the college level or, uh, or professionally. I have a, a former student of mine from several years ago that now is a certified uh, athletic trainer and uh, works here in the Brazos Valley. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're very proud of her, uh, Monica Menchaca. She does a great job. So very, very proud of her. And we've had several that have gone on to do this uh, throughout my career here in Bryan. But, uh, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a really good professional profession is a good field to go into and we're really excited whenever we have that opportunity. Uh, I've got another one right now that is at uh, Texas A&M and although uh, he's, he's changing his field of study a little bit, uh, he's still very interested in athletic training and has always uh, uh, had an interest in, in working in professional football. So uh, we'll see how that pans out for him. We're visiting with Jamie and Josh Woodall. Jamie, uh, talk a little bit about um, uh, a program that uh, you and Josh have helped develop at your all's alma mater at Sam Houston State. Absolutely. Josh and I have started the Athletic Training and Friends uh, Alumni Association at Sam Houston State University. That was approved in April and we were very excited to see that come into fruition with some work that we did with the university. And so right now it's a pretty small group and we're about to have the Battle of the Piney Woods against uh, SFA at NRG and that's going to be our second event that we have as an association. So we're very excited to see that and uh, have uh, just some uh, collaboration with our um, uh, co-workers and our uh, friends and family that we grew up with as we became athletic trainers. For people who don't remember last year and a couple of years ago, we talked to uh, Jamie about uh, her uh, past in this field. She used to uh, work at the College Station ISD at A&M Consolidated. And of course, there was that event many years ago uh, where a young man from uh, Westlake, uh, Matt Nader, uh, collapsed on the sideline, had a, a heart situation. Fortunately, that worked out good for him and he's gone on to have a career. But that's certainly something that you'll never forget in your career. Absolutely. That was one of the first emergencies that had ever happened on a field of play that I was uh, help, uh, responsible for. And uh, the medical professionals that worked on him and for him uh, certainly uh, played a big hand in his uh, survival and uh, very proud of, of what athletic trainers do and the uh, work that we do with EMS and with team physicians to uh, uh, make sure that every athlete stays safe. And as I understand, that event actually led to some uh, some changes uh, with the UIL that have uh, even today made kids safer in all sports. Absolutely. In fact, uh, several laws are in place right now with uh, uh, and uh, regulations with the UIL that have come from that uh, in regards to AEDs and uh, concussion protocols. Both uh, Brian and Rudder are safe sports schools. Talk a little bit about that, Josh, and that uh, obviously is something that uh, you all are very proud of in the BISD. Yes, very, very proud of that. Uh, three years ago, uh, Rudder High School and Bryan High School, respectively, were the first uh, schools to be recognized nationally as safe sports schools. It's a recognition that's provided by the uh, Youth Sports Safety Alliance and the National Athletic Trainers Association, and uh, we're, we're, we're very proud of that. 
The, uh, the award is only bestowed to those schools that, uh, that take uh, many steps to uh, uh, promote uh, health and safety and prevent sudden death in uh, youth athletes, and, and uh, we have the, uh, the appropriate procedures in place to, to do just that. And so uh, we're very proud of, the, uh, very proud of that, uh, that recognition and, and uh, are happy to say that we've renewed that for, uh, for another three years uh, just this year. So uh, still moving in the right direction, and although uh, you know, there's always, uh, always you know, a need to reevaluate and, and uh, grow and, and move forward, uh, that's exactly what we're doing and, and hoping to uh, just continue to keep our kids safe. How long have you all been married? We have been married now for 14 years. 14 years. You all both went to Sam Houston State, and uh, you all were both the uh, uh, trainers there in the training program, and that's sort of how you met and love blossomed. I'll get your story on it. How did it all work out? <laughs> well, you know, uh, when, when we first met, uh, you know, I was a senior in the program and Jamie was coming in as a freshman. So, uh, so that's how that started out. And then, of course, I think she thought I was a staff member because, uh, you know, my appearance hadn't changed much over the years. So I looked like I was 30 then and I <laughs> hopefully don't look much older than that now. I don't know. But, uh, but anyhow, uh, you know, that was, uh, that was a, a tough row right there uh, trying to get her to pay any attention to me but uh, <laughs> fortunately it worked out for me in the in the end I was pretty excited about it I'm a blessed man so you came in as a freshman and here was this senior that was uh, whatever you know trying to move in on you but uh, you were okay with that evidently it, it took a little work I, I wasn't bet it did. Yeah. I wasn't sold right away <laughs> but he's a, he's a great guy and and now we actually uh, teach a young marriage class at our church together and we really enjoy doing that Oh, fantastic. And you all have been married how many years? Fourteen. I just want to make sure you all both gave the same answer <laughs> on that. Uh, Josh Woodall and Jamie Woodall. Josh is the uh, head trainer at uh, Bryan High School and Jamie at Rudder High School. And the BISD is very, very fortunate to have this Woodall team working for them and for the student athletes and keeping them safe day in and day out. This has been Get to Know Your District. I'm Tom Turbeville. You're watching Channel 16.